Y'all, so it looks like Nicki Minaj and her husband are over and done with because she just announced their separation. But hold up, because things are not as simple as a plain separation. According to Nicki, Kenneth has allegedly been using her for her money this entire time. And when she stopped paying him, he allegedly flipped off on her and dumped her. And if you think that's messy, well, there is more where that came from because insiders have now exposed Nikki's alleged addiction, claiming that she has allegedly been heavily using some controlled substances that have been making her erratic. Baby, this is one stinking mess and it's not looking good for Nikki at all. As sad as it may seem, it's not exactly shocking that Nikki's husband, Kenneth Petty, has been using her for her money and fame because we kind of called it from the start when we found out that she was married. Fans were really happy for her when she announced her wedding, especially after we found out that they had been childhood sweethearts who had found their way back to each other after all those years. It was weird that she chose to get married in secret, but hey, love makes people do crazy things, right? But now looking back, it totally makes sense why Nikki kept her relationship with Kenneth low key. His past is kind of sketchy to say the least. Back in 1995, Kenneth got into some serious trouble when he was accused of and arrested for allegedly essaying a girl using weapons to coerce her to have intercourse with him. He was sentenced to prison and he served seven years in prison for that. After he was released, he had to deal with supervised release until 2018. The state of New York wasn't playing around because they tagged him as a level two offender, which basically meant they weren't too optimistic about his future behavior and that there was a risk of him being a repeat offender. Under the terms of his release, he was required to register as an offender every time he crossed state lines to live in another state. But when he moved from New York to California to live with Nikki after their marriage, he didn't register. And that's when things started to go wrong for him. He was arrested on the spot and he was held on a $20,000 bail. And given that his main job title seems to be Mr. Nicki Minaj, it's a safe bet that Nikki was the one digging deep into her pockets and paying off his bail. The drama blew up on social media and Nikki got a lot of hate for this because fans felt a type of way over her willingly getting married to a predator. Fans started giving her the side eye over this, especially since her brother was also convicted for SA. Nikki's brother got himself into some seriously messed up legal trouble for a horrible crime involving his stepdaughter, who was just 12 years old at the time. And here's the cringeworthy part. During the whole trial drama, Nikki stepped up, writing a letter to the judge, basically begging for mercy for her brother, despite all the evidence stacked against him. Well, he still ended up behind bars, which left Nikki looking very bad, and she was dragged from being an SA apologist, which kind of explains why she ended up with someone like Kenneth. It also didn't help that Nikki continually defended Kenneth against the internet. She wrote, he was young, she was young, and in a relationship, but go off internet. You can't run my life, you can't even run your own life. The issue of him not registering in California finally came to a head in 2022 when he was slapped with a fine of $500,000. And y'all wanna guess who paid for that? Nikki, that's who. At this point, people started to wonder what exactly it was that Kenneth did for work. He didn't work a nine to five and neither did he work in entertainment. So it looked like he was mooching off of Nikki and was completely fine with being Mr. Nicki Minaj. It got worse when the victim of his 19 1995 SA, Jennifer Ho, came out to ask for help from the internet, claiming that Nikki and Kenneth had allegedly been threatening her and sending people after her. She also claimed that Nikki had offered her a lot of money to recant her statement and say that she made up the whole thing and that Kenneth hadn't really SA'd her. This made Nikki look even worse and she got dragged for filth with one person making a solid point saying, no matter how much you like Nikki's music, it's wrong to sweep her actions under the rug. She's literally accused victims of lying and even tried to buy their silence. You can still like her music, but you don't need a degree in morality and ethics from Harvard to understand that Nikki is in the wrong here. For once, stands need to take off their rose-colored glasses and hold their faves accountable. Fans also pointed out how she has previously collaborated with artists who have been known to SA people and even defended them. For example, in October 2015, when he was 19, 6 9 pleaded guilty to using a 13-year-old in a performance. Nikki quickly defended him and said, I wanted him to perform with me at the VMAs. It is what it is. When I know somebody, there's nothing you can tell me about him. That's just how it is. Well, after her marriage to Kenneth, 
fans noticed how Nikki started to act erratically, like the time she swore that she was retiring from music to focus on her man. She tweeted, I've decided to retire and have my family. I know you guys are happy now. That was a shocker that came out of nowhere because Nikki was at the top of her game. And you don't just retire when you're the undisputed reigning queen of rap. She later relented and deleted the tweet. She also made a new tweet where she said, I'm still right here, still madly in love with you guys and you know that. In hindsight, this should have been a clean radio discussion and it will be. I promise you guys will be happy. No guests, just us talking about everything. The tweet was abrupt and insensitive. I apologize, babe. In a later interview with Billboard, Nikki backtracked on her retirement plans by saying, I love music and interacting with fans, so I can't really see taking myself completely away. But I want to be open to other possibilities in my life. I do believe it is important to become a woman outside of the magnifying glass. I have to make sure that I'm well-rounded as a human being. Even more bizarre, she accused her fans of hurting her feelings by being upset when she claimed that she was retiring. She said, I didn't know my fans would act like that with the tweet. It hurt my feelings because I feel like the way I did it was maybe insensitive to my fans, but I didn't think people were going to take it. I didn't know it was going to be that big of a deal, so that's why I deleted it. Over the years, her behavior seemed to get more and more erratic, like how she went off on Megan Thee Stallion in January after Megan spoke on her husband's past. Nikki went on and on dragging Megan and just being very messy. And fans believe that it was kind of giving nose candy. However, Nikki denied being on drugs and accused fans of trying to discredit her, saying, whenever you see the word C rant, you know they mad. If you hear how loud I'm laughing, I've never done C in my life. But if I did, I'd do it proudly. But fans aren't convinced that she's totally clean. And it got worse a couple of days ago when she posted this video that got people concerned. Monday. They're yelling push, and you're in pain. And then one day, he comes out, a beautiful baby boy, to God be the glory. Blogger Ken Barbie spilled this tea in January when he said, you wanna holler that people judge your disgusting husband because they're not used to being loved, but you know who is used to being loved exactly like you? Wendy Williams. He loved her pockets to the end, letting her do all types of substances so he could keep digging in that purse while you sit up there looking like an A. That man is keeping you drugged up and mixing your nose candy with horse tranquilizers and Ozempic so he can make you look more stupid while taking your money and letting you look crazy. Well, several insiders have kind of confirmed this, claiming that Kenneth has allegedly been keeping Nikki on substances so that he can get his hands on her money without being stopped. But that wasn't enough for him because he allegedly wanted complete control of Nikki's money and finances. Luckily, she has a dedicated team who stood 10 toes behind her and prevented Kenneth from getting his grabby paws on her money. Now that he knows the jig is up, he is reportedly cutting his losses. Word on the streets is that he has dumped her and moved on with his life. Nikki appeared to confirm this on Twitter when she said, yes, single. According to reports, this sent Nikki into a spiral and she has allegedly started using again, which explains the whole video she posted where she just seemed off. This is very wild and fans wrote, getting dumped by the same offender you've been defending all these years and he just landed you in multiple lawsuits is crazy. What goes around comes around, truly. It's hard for me to feel bad for Nikki cause girl, you made fun of everyone else getting online crying, now look at you, crying over Kenneth Petty. And Kenneth probably got Nikki hooked on drugs and fatten her up to make her stay with him. I kind of feel bad for her. He probably made her feel like crap and look like crap and tell her that he's the only person who could ever love her. It's sad. This situation is insane, but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments and then check out this next video.